Unless there's a switching deal with some free money on the table, most of us don't think about switching up our current accounts that often. But these products have become really competitive, with accounts offering specific features for travel, budgeting, or even earning rewards. So it could be worth taking a look to see if there's a better bank account out there for you than the one you're currently using. To get you started, here are the top six bank accounts for 2024 as chosen by our banking expert, Kate Steer. With solid payment and budgeting features, including spare change roundups, saving spaces, and virtual cards that let you pay for stuff directly from a saving space, and no fees on spending and cash withdrawals in the UK or abroad, Starling Bank is our best bank account for all round features and overseas spending. Earning it a finder score from our banking expert, a 4.7 out of 5. Unlike a lot of its competitors, Starling also offers a pretty decent interest rate on your current account balance. So you don't need to move money into a savings account to start earning interest. And the current account has no account fee to use. Downsides include the lack of a group savings feature and specific monthly budgeting tool. However, there is a budget planner available on the website. And it also doesn't offer any rewards. And being a digital only bank, there are no physical bank branches to pop into. With savings pots, spending categories and insights, loads of extra account options, access to loans, overdrafts and investing options, the ability to earn cash back at popular retailers and stores, ambitious net zero targets and its policy not to invest in or lend to fossil fuel businesses, Monzo very much deserves its title as the best bank account for extra features and green banking and its finder score of 4.6 out of 5. Monzo's basic account is free to use but you can upgrade to a plus account for 5 quid a month or premium for £15 a month for even more features. Downsides to Monzo include the limit on free cash withdrawals, which is £400 every 30 days in the UK and European economic area, £200 every 30 days elsewhere. If you go over this limit, you will be charged a 3% fee for withdrawing cash. There's also a £1 fee for depositing cash into your Monzo account. And as with Starling, there are no physical bank branches. Lloyds Bank is our top scoring traditional high street bank with a finder score of 4.4 out of 5. Lloyds has a strong branch presence where you can make cash deposits and check deposits and allows you to make and receive international payments, making it our top bank account for payment features. With a Lloyds Bank account, you can also earn up to 15% cash back at selected retailers and there is no monthly or annual account fee. The main downside to Lloyds, especially when compared to digital challenges like Monzo, is that it has limited account features and it also does not offer interest on current account balances. Nationwide is our best bank account for linked savings accounts. When you open a Nationwide current account, you also get access to its Flex Regular Saver, which at the time of making this video has one of the highest interest rates on the market. It does come with some T's and C's though, so you can only deposit a maximum of £200 per month and if you make more than three withdrawals in 12 months, your interest rate will be reduced. Nationwide comes with no account fees and similar downsides to Lloyd's, as well as that limit on three withdrawals from your flex saver before your interest rate is affected, which might be a hassle for you if you need regular access to your savings. If you want to earn a little extra cash from your current account, Chase is the bank account to look into. Chase offers 1% cash back on eligible spending for your first 12 months, up to a total of £15 cash back per month, making it our top pick for cash back with a finder score of four out of five. Chase also comes with a variety of interest rates on your account balance, spare change roundups, and any savings in your linked saver account if you choose to open one. Chase has no account fee to use, but there is no cash or check deposit feature with this account and no overdraft option at this time. Originating in the US, Chase only has physical bank branches in the States, not the UK, which could be a tad inconvenient if you like to pop into a physical branch. Compared to the other digital challengers, especially Monzo, Crew is a fairly basic bank account, but it stands out for offering an interest rate across balances in your current account and across your savings pots that easily matches some of the top easy access savings accounts on the market. Even though Crew only introduced separate saving spaces in early 2024, the fact that you can earn the same interest rate across your whole balance could be a great option if you don't want to move your money around to take advantage of a decent interest rate. Because of this, our experts gave Crew a score of 4 out of 5 and rated it our best picks for in-credit interest.
Crew also comes with no fees for spending abroad and promises to plant two trees for every new customer who signs up as part of their sustainability initiatives. And all for a pretty reasonable monthly account fee of zero pounds. Downsides to Crew include some limited app features and that the card cannot be used in certain countries. So check before you travel to make sure your card will be accepted. Crew also has no physical bank branches. To find out more about all of the banks I've talked about in this video and more, and to start comparing the right bank account for you, visit our guide on finder.com by clicking here and following the link below. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to be notified when a new video drops. Thanks for watching.